Weight management, everyone's favorite topic coming out of the pandemic. As someone who's struggled with weight management and weight loss at different times in my life, I, I feel it, all right? I, I get it, but I feel it. So currently I'm in a phase where I am working towards a new goal for weight loss and I'm doing pretty good. And the reason for that is because you have to kind of find a management tool or process or particular diet that works for you. Something that I used to say is that all diets work, but people don't tend to work. So it's important to find something that works for you. The last time I had major success with weight loss and weight management uh, was back at the beginning of the last decade. And I latched onto a concept called ketosis, or as it's known by its short form, keto, which is mostly a marketing buzzword nowadays. When I first did keto, there was not the product availability that you see today. It was a topic mostly found in the bowels of certain types of internet forum and a handful of medical studies that focused mostly on adolescents. And to keep a long story short, essentially, if you wanted to do keto back when I did it originally, it was bland. Like if you were okay with doing chicken, green beans, and beef jerky, yeah, it worked great for people. But all of that has changed. There is a plethora of new products out there with a keto focus, and some are a lot better than others. But I am glad that innovations exist, even if some of them are, well, lacking. Don't even get me started on keto cereals. Sometimes they hit gold, though, which is why you end up with, like, keto-friendly cereal, or as I like to call them, fiber puffs. But I'm not here to recommend a particular diet or even a particular product. I'm here to review a product, and that product is ramen, because someone made keto ramen, apparently. It's a product of 50 Foods Incorporated out of California. And I saw an ad for it on TikTok, and I was like, you know what? I just have to try it. Because the thought of actually finding a ramen that's low carb, it sounds like a dream come true. I've experimented with low carb noodles in the past, but they're m not ramen. Usually you're looking at spaghetti or fettuccine. So I ordered a six pack of it, and this is what we're going to be making for my dinner today. Of course, it's also important for some people to mention that it has like 14 grams of fat. This is not what I would call a low calorie food. 310 per package to be exact. And I'm glad that this doesn't have that same issue as some other keto foods where it's like, oh yeah, we'll shrink the portion. We'll shrink the portion size relative to the package size so that we can kind of make it look like it's lower. No, that is in fact for the entire package, only six net carbs. In terms of setup, this is essentially identical to any other package ramen. You know, you boil two cups of water, you throw the noodles in. The cooking time is a bit longer. It's seven minutes if you want the chewy version and nine minutes if you want it to be soft. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and try it. Ah, here it is. <laughs> it's still hot. It's fresh, it's hot. Let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> okay, so here's what I can say about this. It's very unlikely that you would mistake this for something like, you know, standard package ramen you get in the store. But you can definitely tell that there is something else in these noodles compared to other noodles. That being said, they do not taste bad. If you just went in and gave this to someone blind, they'd probably assume it's something like a special, like, grain mix or a whole wheat or something like that for a noodle. The broth mix is surprisingly decent for a package ramen, but most importantly, my mouth is convinced that I'm eating ramen, like it feels like I'm eating junk food. And so I get the satisfaction that I'm getting the 22 grams of protein and six net carbs. It's worth noting, however, that that satisfaction comes at the price of, oh, almost $7 a package, and pricing a six pack at almost $40 is just not consumer friendly. But like I said, going beyond the bland minimum for keto is something that tends to cost money. But it's really cool to me to watch products like this come out of the woodwork because it tells me that someone else might also decide to start doing that and they'll compete and that will not only drive up the quality of the product but also drive the price down at least hopefully inflation allowing so that's what i wanted to talk about thanks very much for watching guys and i will see you next time Bye bye